In this video, we will learn about prompt. Prompt is basically a part of alert. We have already seen how you can use alert component in the React Native project. So in this video, we will learn how you can use prompt. Uh, and prompt allows user to insert text information. So which will be very useful in many scenarios. So first of all, create a React Native project and open it on Visual Studio Code. I already opened iOS simulator and it works fine with Android emulator also. So if you are using Windows machine, you can use Android emulator. First of all, let us import the necessary component view text button and alert. So we will provide a button over here and when user click on it, a prompt will appear and when user enter uh, their name uh, in, in this prompt text box then we will have two options to submit and cancel when you use the press on submit we will be seeing their name on the screen so first of all let me just create a state to store the name of the user By default it will be an empty string now let us create a text here we display the name and then then there will be a button title will be click let us provide some styling to text font size will be let us say 20 font weight will be bold okay, let me just save this one and save this one so now let us create the function click me now alert dot this time we can go for the prompt the first argument will be title let's say welcome second argument will be the message let's say please enter your name then we provide the buttons the first button will be submit so the text of that button will be submit then the event on press whichever the text user input in the text box we will be we will simply uh, set uh, that text into name okay this will be our first button second button will be our cancel button cancel and on press we simply just console cancel is pressed now the next argument that we can provide is the type of the text we can choose default login password plain text and secure text when we choose default it will be an alert it will not be a prompt there will be no text box if I choose login password then there will be two fields the one is we have already created and the second field will be password the next is plain text and the last one is secure text which will be secure so 
whenever you write uh, anything in the text book you will only see the dots uh, it usually occurs when you type uh, in a password field so we will first go with plain text and the last we can provide the default value for the text let's say name on press event we provide click me let me just save this okay so we have created a state for the name and we have created a function called click me and it's uh, generate a prompt the title will be welcome and the message will be please enter your name so when i click on this button let me just click on this as you can see we have a prompt welcome please enter your name the default value is name because i provided the name over here it's in plain text and if i click on cancel you can see cancel is pressed let me just click on this again now we can enter name let's enter my name okay so if i press on submit we will see this name over here let me just provide style over here let me just rewrite my name as you can see if i provide let's say if i provide a secure text let me just save this as you can see this, this is how it will it will look if i provide default then there will be no text box and lastly login password there will be another field for the password here you can type the password let me go back to plain text let me write Tony and just click on submit as you can see this works perfectly fine so basically this is how you can create a prompt it usually I use for getting small information out of the user like age or name etc you can use this component with both the platform android and ios so that's it for this video thanks for watching it